Hello everyone, this is Sneaksy Garrett here. I'm going to walk you through the process of installing the Thief Fan Mission uh, program called Dark Loader. And also note that this will work with um, System Shock 2 missions as well. So first thing you want to do is go to darkloader.net if you don't already have Dark Loader. It shows that it's compatible with 1.33 version of Thief, 1.37 version of Thief Gold, and 1.18 for Thief 2. It also says that System Shock 2 missions are supported, but not mods. There are two downloads. There is the most recent download, 4.3.1b. Um, this one does not have a installer, though. So if you download this, it will be a zip package and you will just have to extract the contents to a folder of your choosing. Um, otherwise, if you are not as comfortable with that, you can download this version, which is the one that I uh, have personally used myself. So this one does have an installer and when you download this, you'll still get a zip. Um, and if you don't have a, by the way, if you don't have a zip program, I suggest downloading 7-Zip. And um, note that I will, I will put all of the relevant links into the description of this video. So, <clears throat> excuse me, allergies. Okay, so here's Dark Loader 4.3 Final. I'll open that up. And here you have this file called installdarkloader.exe. You'll just click on that and then you'll extract it to a folder of your choosing and make sure you remember which folder that is. And then um, I won't go through that because it's uh, it, it will walk you through the process and I've already got Darkloader installed on my machine. So I'm going to delete this. Oh, and um, when you install Darkloader, do not put it in your program files directory if you are running on Windows Vista or Windows 7. I think this might also apply on Windows XP. Um, the reason is because of file permissions. Um, basically, uh, any game that's installed in the program files folders um, may have a conflict with letting you uh, modify files if you are not a administrator on your machine. So I would highly recommend do not installing Dark Loader or Thief for that matter into your program files directory. Okay so now that you have Dark Loader installed go to the Dark Loader folder and double click on your darkloader.exe file. Ironically, I have it installed in program files, but that's because I installed Dark Loader a few years ago, and I also um, am an administrator on this computer, so I haven't had any kind of issue with Dark Loader personally. But <clears throat> I'd still recommend installing it somewhere else unless you are comfortable with program files and have access. Uh, administrator ac access. Okay, so when you first launch Dark Loader, you should get the setup window. If not, just click on this little hammer icon down here, and you'll get this. So you have the mission directories and then the thief directories. This is where you will want to set up um, each game that you have installed on your computer. So in my case, I have Thief Gold in games. So I had I told Dark Loader where <clears throat> excuse me where Thief Gold is, and then I have um, Thief Two version 120, and I also have System Shock 2 set up in here. You can also apparently use Thief 2X fan missions, or at least Thief 2X itself. Um, I've never actually used this, so I just have this blank. But uh, that's how you set up the actual folders. Um, in addition to that, you're going to need to set up the fan mission directory. In other words, um, 
you you'll have a directory for all of the dot zip files that you download for FMs and um, you need to tell dark loader where that folder is so in my case I have a folder called thief2 uh, I have a folder called missions under my thief2 directory this is a uh, actually 1.18 thief2 here and then I have a directory for thief gold uh, called FMs so you just hit this add button and then it will um, bring this up and then you can uh, find a folder for it once you've done all that hit OK and you should be all set um, you may get these warnings about your thief gold not being optimized basically what that means is that um, when Thief Gold was uh, made, they didn't put any of the .crf files. The .crf files are basically the um, resource files for Thief. Um, they were not put into a subdirectory called res, or res I call it, like Thief 2. They were just thrown into the main directory. So what Dark Loader does is it will ask you to optimize your install which basically means that it will automatically move the .crf files for you um, that's really outside the scope of this so I won't go into that anymore but uh, just so you know FYI um, okay so the next thing is you see this up here the list of fan missions that you have installed um, when you're not playing any fan missions, you should uninstall them um, if you're wanting to go back to play the reg regular Thief 2, for example. Um, and the install only button should be grayed out. If it's not, then that means that one of your fan missions is still installed. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, let's look at First City College as an example. If I click on this and then I go to install only, um, that will basically, as it says, install it, but it won't start the game. Um, if you click on the Dromid button, provided that you have uh, the Dromid level editor installed, it will open up that fan mission for you and you can tinker around with that if you like. And then there's the play button, which does the same thing as installing, but it will actually launch Thief for you. So if you are wanting to play right now, then you would click play. Otherwise, just click install only, and it will be installed for the next time when you open up Dark Loader. <clears throat> and so basically what this does is it extracts files from the zip into your thief folder. So um, once you've installed a Dark Loader mission, I would recommend that you don't do anything to your folder until you're done with the fan mission and that way because if you do any sort of settings um, and then you come back in here and install original Thief 2 again you're going to lose um, anything that was in there <clears throat> however um, with that said Dark Loader does backup save files so it will automatically create a directory with a bunch of installs uh, I mean uh, save files so you don't have to worry about losing your saves when you go back to original Thief 2 and that goes for Thief 2 as well it should back up the saves for that okay so now that we've gone through um, Dark Loader setting it up I'd like to tell you how to actually find fan missions because of course that's what you really want to be able to <coughs> Excuse me. That's what you wanted um, to be able to play fan missions for Dark Loader for Thief 2. So let's go to a few of those. Um, one resource you can use is um, the Thief Fan Mission subforum of the TTLG forums. There's a lot of um, important uh, threads up at the top of this forum. Um, that can help you out. <clears throat> they have a fan mission listing by type uh, thread that basically lists a bunch of fan missions, um, as it says. Um, and you can use this this forum for uh, 
getting help on any issues you're having with a fan mission, troubleshooting, or um, you're stuck. So this is a good forum to look at. And also this is where fan mission authors will post um, links to their finished fan mission that you can go and download. So this is one resource. <coughs> Excuse me. So <clears throat> the next one is called South Quarter. In this one, you have um, basically a list of different fan missions here, and it's got it by game. Of course, the only ones of interest to us are Thief 2, Thief, and System Shock 2. Dark Mod, that's, um, that's for the new Doom 3 modification that's basically sort of like Thief. Um, that's outside the scope of this video, so I won't go into that. Um, the next one you can check out for fan missions is called The Keep of Metal and Gold. He has a Comag, or I guess that's short for Keep of Metal and Gold. His, um, his site has a bunch of links for different fan missions. It tells you the date, who the author was, <clears throat> whether it was in a series. Um, TTLG likes to have um, con uh, well, they have had a lot over the years contests for making fan missions, and so um, or if there's like um, say a campaign where it's multiple missions in one, that's basically what this is right here. It just tells you what series it is. <clears throat> okay, so the next website is thiefthecircle.com. And what you will do is you will click on this fan made mission downloads link at the top of the page. And here's where you can um, find fan missions. There's uh, all the criteria for finding missions on the left side of the page. There's also in information on dar downloading Dark Loader here, actually, as well as um, different instructions and how to even submit your own. This site's rather old though, so I'm not sure if it's actually still being maintained for uploading fan missions. <clears throat> the next site, which is very useful and probably one of the main um, websites you will use for fan missions is called thiefmissions.com. Um, it has a huge directory of missions in here, and you can search by author. So I can click on here to search mission author so let's look up <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry I have a tickle in my throat so I I looked up uh, Darth Slayer and here you have all of the missions that he's done and let's say for example let's look at Towers of Saint Moria I'll click on that you get this nice page that has all this information. You can look at um, a README file before you download the mission. There's a loot list. Um, there's a link to the forum discussion thread. And then, of course, um, down at the very bottom is the actual download link. So that's how you'll use thiefmissions.com. And finally, um, before I end this video, <clears throat> I'd like to mention the Thief Fan Mission links thread. This is a compilation of different um, information for fan missions within the fan missions uh, subforum on TTLG. It's got information on the new dark patch for Thief and Thief 2. It's got information on FAQs. Um, it has information on installing Thief itself, uh, troubleshooting. Um, there's links about the different fan mission loaders of course, uh, my video is just about Dark Loader, and that's one of the most popular ones and was <clears throat> the most updated. Mm, I think um, they have some newer ones now. It looks like there's one called Modern Loader. Um, I, I just use Dark Loader, though, so and that should work just fine. Um, if you get New Dark, the newly patched version of Dark Loader, you can get... get uh, it comes with something called 
FM selector, which I'm not going to get into. Um, and here it has, again, links to fan mission downloads, um, all sorts of um, useful information. So I just thought I'd mention that, and I will put a link to this forum thread into the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this was of some use for you.